wrote a poem. You want to hear? Here it goes. It's called A Love Flower. Uh, for Troy and Amy Crichton, July 29, 2017. What words can I say that wasn't already spoken or written down for lovers long ago? So in this moment in time, let your love be like a flower, as your marriage will naturally grow and grow. For today, you both have planted a seed of hope in this rocky soil of life. So water it with patience, kindness, friendship, understanding, as you grow together as husband and wife. A husband should love his wife as he loves himself. Deep respect for her husband a wife should show. So keep this scripture in your heart, souls, and minds, in the sun and the rain, through all the years that come and go. Yes, true love is a wonderful feeling. We all celebrate on this your wedding day. May it bloom a lifetime safe in your garden, a perennial love flower that will never fade away. One is a lonely number, so they sing and say. It takes two for a love flower to grow just right, especially when you tend to each other with hugs, talks, and dream with someone every night. Someone kind, smart, and lovely like Amy with a sunshine twinkle in her eye who will always make you feel special as you continue to always be her amazing guy. Someone good, strong, caring, generous, and smart, too, like our beloved son, Troy. We are very happy you found sweet Amy, who brings you so much joy. So as little green leaves and buds appear to thrive each day, month, year, hour after hour, we will all support you and water it with you both as your marriage blooms into a lasting love flower. Uh -huh.